A beautiful live picture of the skies out there. It's only 23 degrees, and Vanessa says it's actually going to feel like about 13 degrees or lower. All right, tis the season for retail, and with Black Friday this week, it's all about getting the best bang for the buck. With us this morning with some expert advice, Mark LaCastro from DealNews.com. Welcome. Thanks for having me. I know we were just talking. We can't believe it's already here. <laughs> it's here. <laughs> all right, now you have some great advice. First thing is to have a plan. Just don't go out there and... Exactly. You have to make a shopping list. You have to budget. Know what you're shopping for and know how much those things typically cost. Because then if you're shopping in store or shopping online, you know if it price drops, you know you're getting a real deal. Now what's the best thing about uh, researching and comparison shopping? Well, all the retailers have already released their Black Friday ads now and even actually last week. So if you have something on your mind, you know how much those things cost. So again, do your research now and then when you go to the store, you can find that item or even shop online. It's much more convenient. <laughs> I know yeah. we've talked about yeah. that before. A lot of us who don't actually like to go to the stores, just checking it out all, all online is good. Also with the smartphone, you really have some fantastic apps that we can all download. That's, that's correct. Well, first thing is, I mean, you don't have to go into the store to get the Black Friday deals. The majority of the Black Friday deals are available online at the same price and sometimes cheaper. But if you are going into the store to shop, have your smartphone, you know, price check, comparison shop, showroom a little bit. Because sometimes with your smartphone, you can find that item cheaper elsewhere or cheaper online. And it sounds like, I mean, you can go to stores and say, hey, do you have price matching deals? And also, I understand credit card companies, you can talk to about that. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, the price matching policies this year have expanded. All these retailers are matching their competitors. And a lot of them are even matching Amazon, which is just amazing. In the end, this is just going to benefit the consumer because they're, they are going to get the lowest price. I know the whole landscape of shopping has changed with everything available yeah. online. All right, a lot of people wait till Black Friday yep. um, and some afterwards. When do you get the best deals? I mean, is it Black Friday? Do you wait till after? I mean, well, I mean, the Black Friday deals do not start on Black Friday. They actually started this weekend. Actually, today, um, Amazon released their Black Friday sales. And this is going to be um, a new deal posted on Amazon every 10 minutes for the next eight straight days. <laughs> so you can start your Black Friday shopping right now online. All right, do you have any, when you, when you look at deals in your head that say, okay, you should only do it if it's at least this much off, 30% off, 40% off, do you have any number in your head? Well, I think, I think the general number is if you see like 20 to 30% off that, mm -hmm. that's typically a good deal. But I mean, that's what the folks at, at Deal News do. We tell you why it's a good deal, how much money you should save. I mean, for example, there's a 50 inch HD being sold at Target for $229, wow. or a 70-inch Vizio television sold for less than a grand at Walmart. These are doorbusters, um, but these are the best prices we've ever seen for um, those size televisions. All right, a lot of great shopping yeah. out there, Mark. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. And we're going to have much more of Mark's advice that's coming up tomorrow night on CBS2 News at 11 for the Ultimate Holiday Shopper's Guide. Andrea, over to you.